Hello, Carlita. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? I'm very thin. Well. <laughs> okay, give me just a second. There you go. Okay. I don't want the fan to interfere. That's better. So what did you do on the weekend? Let me see. I was a uh, uh, birthday, uh, birthday celebration. Who? Uh, my mother-in-law. So it was my mother-in-law's birthday. It was my mother-in-law's birthday celebration. Good. Yeah. Okay. Where Where did you go? And we went to Don Victor restaurant. I heard of it. Where is it? It's on, eh, on Carretera de Oro. Mm -hmm. Carretera de Oro in Villas de San Jose. <laughs> it's a it's a restaurant very uh, high it's a very high restaurant a very <laughs> high class restaurant no high como escondido oh it's a very hidden, hidden. It's, okay. it's a very hidden restaurant porque hidden y no hide um I don't know. <laughs> ah, porque estoy diciendo escondido. Escondido. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Es um, el participle. The best participle of ah, the word. Okay. So, yeah. It's a very hidden restaurant. What else did you do? Um, I passed uh, all of... I, I spent all... Uh, Sunday uh, afternoon he, uh, there I... there I spent mm -hmm. the whole Sunday afternoon there I spent mm -hmm. uh -huh, the I whole spent... and this is past hold on I spent the whole of uh, Sunday Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning afternoon mm -hmm. okay I kind of, I kind of did the same thing. I, I spent the weekend with my wife because we were celebrating our four or fourteenth anniversary. But it was, it was just like being boyfriends, you know, like staying home, watch romantic movies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nah, nah. She's on, on her days, so. But anyways, uh, it was nice spending time talking. I hired new services. I'm with Tigo, Tigo Internet now, but it was a terrible experience because they installed the router on Thursday. They were able to fix it on Saturday. And I'm still, I'm still fighting to activate HBO Max because they give you two months for free. They give you Prime Video for two months. So I, I haven't been able to activate HBO, but man, I saw the menu. They have all the movies, all the movies that we like, you know, for, from our days. Just any it's movie. Com it's complicated with Figo because the service is wrong service. The customer service, the customer yes. service is terrible. Their signal, their signal, you know, their signal, their signal service is good. I had it, mm -hmm. I had them before. They have good technology, but the customer service is terrible. I uh, and and the saleswoman, the saleswoman was someone from the street, and I didn't know. You know, you you call you call the main number, the PVX, the PVX number. Mm -hmm. You call the PVX, and it directs you to someone on the street 
to make the sale. And you think that you're talking to someone from Tigo, but it's someone who sells Claro, Tigo, I mean, everything. Oh, my God. That was... But anyway, my brother is here right now, and he's trying to resolve the issue. So we, we couldn't see a great, great movie, you know, something new or back from the days. We we watched um, a movie on, on Stars, I think, or Disney, I can't remember. It was um, a long trip, I think it's called. It's mm. with um, Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon? No? Reese Witherspoon? The girl from... Oh, my God. What's her name? What's the name of the... I can't remember any movie right now from her. It, it's girl girl stuff, you know? Girls' movies. <laughs> and it was good. It was good. We spent some time together. And that was the whole idea. Okay, everybody else. How are you? Adita, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. I have a pimple. Can you see? Yeah. Look at I me. see. My cheek, my my face is deformed right now because this is swollen. I look like Kiko, a little bit like Kiko. Mm -hmm. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Ouch. I don't know why that happened. So, Adita, how are you? Tell me. It's fine, teacher. And my in my case, my I am um, I we can fine fine in my house. Hmm. Mm -hmm. it's just in your house. Uh, but but okay. Por qué? Por qué? Because and and because in the zone in the zone in the zone. Um, oh, in our zone? Rain. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, raining. It was raining on your zone. Yes. Oh, my God. So you were able to sleep. Yes. Um, <laughs> but, but I terrible because and we, nosotros en casa, and we, uh, and we have, in our, in and, our house? And in their house, I, mm, Habíamos puesto las luces. Eh, oh, we installed the yeah. Christmas lights or decorations. Christmas. Yes. Mm. Um, or mm, mojados. Or everything got wet. Everything. Yes. So the lights were ruined by the rain. Yes. Oh my God! I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> and uh, and the funny. No the, funny, the, the funny, the funny thing is, the funny, the funny thing, thing is, the funny thing is, the in its first or years, um, put the light in this month. En este eh, es el primer año que ponemos en este mes las luces. Really, that that's that yeah. is happening to me. We we started to, today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We started mounting the, the tree and the chimney. We have a chimney mm -hmm. that we build with with some wood, you know, uh, that, that there's a name for this uh, things, you know. It's, oh my God, they call it um, tarima, I don't know. They, they call it somehow, ah, I don't remember how they call the tarimas. But that kind of wood, you know, that you see on the on the roads, and you see the dog houses made of this wood. So we we got some of these uh, tarimas, and we we built the chimney last year. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a beautiful chimney. So we're working on it. Okay, how many are we? We are nine already, and it's eight eleven. We're missing some of you, so let's start. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Not here. Ana Selmi Chévez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Great. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. 
Yeah. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Here. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Excellent. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Here yet. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosalena Salgado de Serrano. I think we lost her, but she's there. Sandra Gladys Melendez. I'm sorry. Hi, Rosalina. Thank you. Yeah, we, we lost your connection. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Present teacher. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Excellent. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Not here yet. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Welcome. Okay, guys, what's in it today? Tonight, I would like to start with a regular conversation with you. So who can throw in a topic? Who has an open question? I want you to think for 10 seconds and just give me any open question. Make it up. Everybody think about an open question about any topic so we can have a conversation together and I can evaluate your English. Um, can we talk about the World Cup? The World Cup. It, 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 okay. Uh, yesterday start. Um, how do you say it? Amphitron teacher is, it, is the same word? Host. 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 H-O-S-T, yeah. Yes. Hmm? They, they lost the, the first match, and it is the... <gasps> oh, my God, it, really? Yes, Qatar lost yesterday. What do, you, what do you think about the ceremony? I didn't watch it. I kind of watched watch it. A little bit, a little <laughs> bit. I was at a fork at a, at a food court in Metro Centro when, I, when they were starting the World Cup. I didn't like the, the pet. I didn't like the pet. It's oh, just, like, it's, yeah, how do you say cobija like. in English? <laughs> <laughs> it was just the cobija. I mean, it's, I don't know. I don't have any idea. Uh, it's, it was just like a bit, a bad shit, you know, that, that was weird to see. So, okay. Do we all agree that we, should we talk about the World Cup? What do you think about the World Cup? What are your thoughts about the World Cup? Are you planning to watch it? Okay. What are your thoughts about the World Cup? What about what about today matches? I have a, I have a, matches? You yeah. haven't seen, but yeah. you fell, yes. <laughs> Inglaterra won. Yeah. And uh, Netherlands, Netherlands. Uh -huh. Netherlands and, won. And all, I know, and you say get Wallace. Wallace. Wallace, yeah. Wallace, yeah. Okay. yeah they are tied. They was tied. 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 Yeah. Empate. Tied. Yes, I remember. Yeah. But okay, it, it, so so we have two questions. Okay, what are your thoughts about the World Cup, and what has been the best World Cup you remember watching? Uh, for example, me, I remember watching 2010. I think it was 2020, 2010. South Africa. Yeah? Or 2012. South Africa. No, no, no. 2010. 2010. Yeah, yeah. Waka waka. Yes, yeah, South Africa. I mean, for me, that, that was <laughs> that was the, the most amazing one because we watched the whole, all the games, you know, watched all yeah. the game, the whole cup. And that was because at the call center, they, they, they installed TVs, huge TVs. And we were, and they, there were not too many calls. So we were watching the, the whole games, you know, <laughs> they, they used to go around, give us popcorn. They used to give us t-shirts, um, hot dogs. While we were working, you know, and watching, and suddenly, oh my god, 
<laughs> I remember I remember the World Cup in 1998 because 1998. Ricky, Martin, Ricky Martin. Oh, come on, la vida loca. <laughs> no, 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 la vida loca, teacher. No, <laughs> no. What, what, what was the song? Then, oh my God. La Copa de la Vida. La Copa de la Vida. Yeah. Chiki bam bam, chiki bam bam. Okay. <laughs> so I want to hear your thoughts in small groups. Just practice because I will bring you to the front and you will answer both questions. Okay. I'm not going to make exceptions today. I need to hear you speaking because we're almost done with the class. Okay. okay? Today, uh, today we need to go to bed early because tomorrow we need to wake up at 4 a.m. <laughs> Who's playing? Argentina. Argentina. Oh so, my God. Arabia Saudi. Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Say, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, teacher. It's, it's, it's necessary. <laughs> I'll, I'll be. I'll be awake. I'll, I'll be awake at four already. So I'll. I'll I may okay. Watch. You, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Por favor, nadie se quede en este salón. Todos aceptemos la invitación. Ok, let's go. Ok. Wendy, Susie, please accept the invitation. Let's go. Hello, how Hi. are you? Good evening, Good evening guys. Fine, fine, and you? I am Dina. <laughs> really? Hey, enjoy it. Thank enjoy you. Enjoy it. Thank you. Enjoy it. <laughs> You know what? Um, I'm not enthusiastic about this World Cup this year because mm. I have to work a lot and I, I can watch the games. <laughs> I, <laughs> you know what is I my am, problem? That I am really, hmm? I am really uh, no, no put attention a uh, the world. The World Cup? Ah, because yes. you're work. Uh, could the work? No, I don't pay attention. Uh, I don't you like, like it. No, don't like soccer. I, I didn't pay attention too, but my children <laughs> was, uh, they were texting to me and, <laughs> hey, daddy, <laughs> they, they, they start to... to... <laughs> Who told me about the matches, mm -hmm. but when I when I arrived at home, I they start to to they start talking about football. Yeah, so, yeah, yes. Well, in and... my case, I do like soccer. Actually, I play soccer a lot. And who it's who my, play? It's my favorite sport. Who play now? Who play now? Do they play England with um? Who was the other team? Uh, uh, was the other team who played with England? Um, England. Ah, okay. No, Senegal. No, no yeah. Senegal played with uh with North Netherlands. Netherland. Yes. Yeah. In United it's really, with... it's really for AM. Play a a a for a a. I'm sorry, Sandra. What was your play? Was... Really play for. A.M. in the morning. Yes. Play in the morning today. They they play in the morning. Actually, the first game was at uh seven seven a.m. Then the next one was at ten, and then the last one was at eleven. And tomorrow the game starts at four o'clock. There's gonna be Argentina with uh. Arabia, and then the other one is gonna is going to be at seven. <clears throat> there tomorrow there is gonna be four matches. I think I wish I couldn't watch those matches, but I have to work. I have to work a lot. Right, just one thing. I, I wish I could. Mm -hmm. I wish I, I wish. could 
watch. I could, I could watch. No, I couldn't. The matches. Mm -hmm. I wish I could match. I, I I wish I could watch the matches. Good. But I have to work. I'm sending you some feedback here. I'm not enthusiastic about. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not excited about. This I'm year's not excited. Sport. Exactly. I'm not excited about this years. Okay. Um. Don't like soccer. I don't like soccer. Don't forget the subject. Don't forget the subject. They start to tell me. They started. They start telling me. They always start telling me about the soccer matches of today. You know, who play? Who plays now? Who plays now? Third person. Remember, third person. And really play 4 a.m. in the morning. Don't forget the auxiliary sounder. Did they really play? Oh, that's my mistake. Wait a minute. Did they, and this is a mistake from my end, I'm sorry. The verb is on simple present. So did they really play at 4 a.m. this I, morning? At 4 a.m. this morning, okay. Mm -hmm. So continue. Okay, thank you. Good job. Thank you. B, sorry. And in this, yes. In, in yes. this moment, it's complicated for the visitors in yes. Qatar because there are many restrictions about yes, visitors. Yes, there are yes. many restrictions. Yes. I was, I was listening that uh, they, they don't allow, allow. Yeah, the, the beer at the stadiums. Imagine Latin American Latin American fans, they need to drink beers at the stadium. Oh yes. <laughs> because I, I saw because, mm -hmm. I saw some news that now there are some uh, people arrested personas arrested. Yeah, arrested. Arrested by Bal uh, behind in 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 Qatar. Imagine. Yes. The the last uh, news was that a Mexican uh, was arrested by uh, a TikTok and the el castigo. No sé si castigo. <laughs> the punish. The punish. punish. Ah, punish. The punish yeah. is a uh, theory. Latigazos, 30 latigazos. Oh, really? Oh sí, God. por un TikTok y, y se lo van a dar en una plaza pública, según. Eso está pasando ahorita. Yes. Sí. Oh un mexicano que hizo un, hizo un TikTok diciendo que estaba traficando una botella de alcohol en las maletas. Y cuando llegó, lo arrestaron. Y el hermano está pidiendo ayuda ahora porque el castigo hace 30 latigas en una plaza pública. Ya que los tenías tú. <laughs> oh, my God. He's thank crazy. God, thank, crazy. God I didn't, thank God I didn't go. Thank God I didn't go. I, I, was, I was this close to go. I, I didn't. Really? I didn't There go. are a lot of uh, memes about this because I, I, don't, I didn't know but I was reading that Qatar, 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 Qatar is an homophobic country. Imagine there was a lot of meme uh, because when your team uh, makes a goal, all the people is going to give a help between men also. Imagine. Uh, I was reading there was a match and two 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 men they give a hug and all the Qatars <laughs> in that okay, in that oh my god what is that imagine <laughs> I don't know it's so so crazy <laughs> but I I listen about a reporter a sport, a sport reporter mm -hmm. that the 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 oh my god the be benefits of the this this country is that the stadiums are very closer mm -hmm. you, you, you didn't are very you close yeah i heard yes. i yeah. i didn't you don't know need to move to another to another state for mm. yeah the, everything is very the, close because it's very the small stadium are very close uh -huh. and, and they, they are take a, they build they eight take, uh -huh. yeah they take about minutes 
to go to the next stadium. Mm -hmm. And the, this is a, um, how to say, advantage. 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 That's a great advantage. 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 Yeah, advantage. Yeah. Okay. Complicado. Mm -hmm. Complicated. Complicated. Com it's complicated. Com it's complicated. 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 I saw some news. I saw some news. I saw oh, some news. I saw. Uh -huh. So mm, I saw. I saw some news. By bad behave, they were punished for misbehaving or misbehaving in public. They were punished for misbehaving in public. The punishment is thirty which whip whip splashes. I don't like that word. Whip whip lashes. Whip lashes. Whip lashes. Whip lashes. Whip lashes. Yeah. A punishment is 30 whip flashes and then it will be given in public through TikTok. Oh my God. Oh God, thank God I didn't go. Really, I, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised of what God has saved me from. <laughs> That's too much. I mean, first, and you know what? They, they said first that they were allowing beers and they, they were accepting, uh, you know, the gay culture they were accepting the gay culture, but without demonstrations on the street. And afterwards, later, they said, no, no beer, no gay people. That's, I mean, wow. Drastic changes. Drastic changes. Okay, continue, guys. We're almost done. I'm just going to the last room. Play play the in the Argentina and the 4 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what uh, what team tomorrow. I don't know what play. Okay. Mm. Yes, the 4 a.m. is play Argentina mm. tomorrow. Mm. Okay. Um, you will wake up early to see the the game. Mm -hmm. mm, for me, I know I know see a favorite for the moment, mm -hmm. but I like the, 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 the I I would like the Argentina for me, mm -hmm. but. I know how I know what the power. No. In my case, in my favorite team, team it's Alemania. Germany. Germany. It's a good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. Yes, I am like really like. Uh, soccer. Yeah, excellent. You Kenya. In my case, I do not have any specific um, country that I like when they are playing, but I feel like all the main countries like Argentina, um, Spain. You know, uh, how do you say? Costa Rica, it's the same. Costa Rica and all those countries are like the main one, the main ones here in Central America and South America, right? No, uh, South America. So for me, it's more interesting to see, like, for example, the one of tomorrow that it's from Argentina and Arabia Saudita, the same. <laughs> in Arabia, uh, Saudi. Saudi Arabic. Saudi Saudi Arabic. Saudi Arabic. Arabic. Mm -hmm. I don't like those names. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I think it's interesting to see those kind of um, partidos. Games, soccer matches. Soccer matches. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I don't have any, you know, something specific on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. 
So a little feedback here. Let's see. In the morning, in the play, the Argentina, 4 a.m. tomorrow. Remember, that's on our main area right now is the, the use of the article. The, 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 uh, in the morning, um, well, and the use of prepositions and articles, be careful with that. You should say Argentina plays tomorrow at 4 a.m. Okay, look for the subject, guys. Look for the subject because many, many of you are missing the subject when you start a sentence. So let's see, you will wake up early to see the game. Okay, un error muy común es, eh, y los americanos lo hacen todo el tiempo. Le dan el tono de pregunta a una oración en positivo. Eso es muy pegajoso. Uh, remember, you need to start with an auxiliary. So, will you wake up early to see the game? Will you wake up early to see the game? Okay. And again, Nelson, uh, the use of articles, it's a good. Okay. It's good. Yeah, Germany is good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. For example, the one on tomorrow. For example, tomorrow's games. Or for example, uh, tomorrow's match. Yes. Okay, let's go back so you can talk. Let's take it back. Okay, let's see who comes back at last. Edwin, Sandra, Wilfredo, Mariana, Carla, Roselena, and Walter. Okay, Edwin, Sandra, Wilfredo, Carla, Roselena, Carla, okay. Who's gonna be the last one coming back? <laughs> Edwin, Sandra, and Wilfredo. Uh oh, okay. They don't want to return. So they will be the three chosen ones. Edwin, Sandra, and Wilfredo. Here they come. Sandra was the last one. Okay. Okay, so the last people coming back to the class were Edwin, Sandra, and Wilfredo. So we're going to start with, let's see, who do we start, guys, with Edwin or with Wilfredo, who are the most excited, let's say, about the World Cup or the most? Wilfredo. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, Wilfredo. So answer the two questions, okay? First question. Uh, what was the yeah. question? Hold on. Uh, go straight. Where? Oh, my God. I lost the, the questions. Huh. What are your thoughts about the World Cup? What has been the best World Cup you remember watching? One, two, three, action. Ah, okay. Uh, we were talking about um, um, many things, teacher. It's okay. Muchas cosas. Okay. okay. But the interesting about talking about this, the current uh, World Cup, that because so, for example, we were talking about Benzema. They lost um, this World Cup because he, ha he had a uh, una lesión. Injury. 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 Yes, then, then, and he has, uh, French lost a, a good player. But we were talking to another, uh, for example, another team, for example, England, and they won today six uh, to, to go. It was uh, she, um, England like so strong to 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 win the the World Cup. Then, um, but we were talking about another another team. Uh, for example, tomorrow we, we we are going to see or we are going to watch Argentina. I hope that they play so good. And talking about the the second question. The World Cup, uh, I, I remember I was so child. 
and Italia, my team. When uh, German won this World Cup versus Argentina, but I remember uh, Sergio Javier Goicoechea, goalkeeper, he played in, with Argentina, but he he had a good World Cup, but it 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 was so sad because I I I told that Argentina is going to 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 won this World Cup, but el fútbol es así, no hay nada escrito. But I guess that this World Cup is going to Argentina, maybe champion. Hmm. Last thing, you, <laughs> last thing you said. Last thing you said. Yeah. Hey, what about Brazil? Is Brazil playing? Yeah, yes. We were talking about Brazil too, but they they had a. a uh, Edwin told me that about Brazil, uh, they have a, a strong team because only start that they play all all team I guess play in Europe. But I hope to, but maybe could play nice, <laughs> but Argentina is going to, I hope, I hope so. Rosalina yeah. doesn't like Brazil, I think. <laughs> yeah, they. so wait, they don't have a strong team as back in the days, or do they? Do they have a strong team like Cristiano Ronaldo? I mean, Cristiano's, uh, what was the other one? I'm sorry, Ronaldinho, uh, my God, Ronaldo, those guys, you know, when, 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 what was the other guy? Car Roberto Carlos? Roberto Carlos. Man, th those were good times for Brazil. I, basically, they do Morning. have a, a good, a good players Brazil. He, in, he's one of the favorites team to, to, to win the World Cup. H has Neymar, they ha he has a good performance at this moment. He's playing very nice. And mm -hmm. actually, uh, to, uh, was another Rick Churchaldino. And it was um wait 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 what's his name? R Richaldino, something like Richaldino. This. Yeah. So he, if I was he, on he in Brazil, my name was Rafael Dino. <laughs> <laughs> Probably yes. El, in my El case, Winino. El El Winino. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so common, right? Okay, continue, Edwin. So, um, so for me, uh, Brazil is is one is one of um, the favorite team that can win the World Cup. But in my case, I'm real I'm um, fans of Argent Argentina. I wish Argentina couldn't win the the World Cup, but but I don't know. There is another things that are very strong, like England. He plays to he plays today, and he in in. He shows a good game, and basically it was like probably they can win the World Cup too. Mm -hmm. But Brazil is a nice, very and a strong team. Has a very good defenders, a very uh, good goalkeeper. Kids, kids are born with a with mm -hmm. a football. You know, when they are mm -hmm. born in Brazil, they are born with a football next to them when they are born. That's crazy. Exactly. Okay. Hey, before we move on, okay, let's see, Wilfredo. Many things. Many things. 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 Okay, okay. many things. Better things, 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 okay. things. Repeat, the thing is. The thing is. The thing is. The thing is. Very good, many things. Many things. That sounds perfect. Thank you. Next word is not. Talking, 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 talking. There you go, talking. A friend lo lose a good player. A friend lost. I don't know. A friend lost. You're talking in the past, right? So lost a good player. Or lost. Mm -hmm. Now th this word thing is a challenge for you. Another thing, 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 and basically is a z i n. Okay, another thing. Another thing about it. Okay. Another thing about it. Thing, thing, thing. There you go. I hope they play so good. I hope they play good. I hope they play. Listen, they, why? 
Listen why. I hope they play good. I hope they play so good that they win the matches. If you say so, todos, si dicen so, tienen que explicar el por qué también. ¿Sí? Espero que jueguen tan bien. I hope they play so good. Si yo te digo, espero que jueguen tan bien, te quedas como... También que qué. Right? I hope they play good. Espero que jueguen bien. I hope they play amazingly, tremendously, terrible. You know, okay. Uh, I was so child. I was so little. I was so little. Okay. Era tan pequeño. I was so little. Let's see. I was so little. Yeah, there you go. Era tan pequeño que. When German, when Germany, Germany, I remember the name of the country is Germany. And next word, I told, instead of saying I thought, I thought, you're saying I told, no, I thought, I thought, thought. And Edwin, you're doing this very often, you're doing this, Edwin. I wish Argentina couldn't win, could win. Uh, positive, no negative, right? Ya le echaste a la Argentina, right? So, <laughs> no couldn't, could. <laughs> I hope they could win. I wish they can, they could win. Desearía que yo ganara. Okay, good. Okay, Sandra, give us your thoughts. Sandra doesn't like soccer, foot, football soccer. <laughs> I don't like soccer, teacher. Why? Not even watching. <laughs> Mm, I like I like basket teachers. Uh, Basketball? I don't see I don't see uh, tampoco. I don't see neither. I don't see neither. Uh, I remember uh, last year uh, my my brother veía uh, to see he watched he he used to he watch watching, watching TV uh -uh. He, he he used to watch he you he do the washing okay i remember my brother i remember i remember my brother used to watch used to watch what what mm -hmm. uh could the war the world cup the World Cup, the World Cup, and Brazilian, and uh, Maradona. Mm -hmm. Like in, like in, like in play Maradona. Uh, my brother uh, and I, mm, nothing. Okay, good. So. He used to like watching the Brazilian team. He liked watching Maradona, right? And so on. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, I mean, I, I, think, I think you're welcome. I, I'm not a huge fan of soccer, you know, uh, me too. I, I prefer, well, I used to prefer basketball back in the days with, um, Jordan, Pippen, you know, Shaquille O'Neal, and so many others, right? I mean, that was basketball. That was real basketball. There were no faults, no faults. Like I, I like it. I like uh, playing the, the soccer. Playing, playing soccer. Playing basketball. Playing basketball. Play the basketball. Me too. Yes. Yes. That's really good. Okay, let's see. One more person who wants to talk about the two questions. Who wants to give their opinion about the two questions? Nobody? Rosanne is saying no. No, okay. Okay. Second question, teacher. <laughs> yeah, Second no. Question. Any question? Yeah, both, both questions. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> Um, I love in the soccer teacher. <laughs> uh, it is a, a moment 
uh, that we can enjoy uh, being able to see the best soccer in the world. Uh, I hope they could stay in America. I prefer, uh, for example, you say Argentina, Brazil, uh, Uruguay. For me, it's good. The, the championship, the good. Uh, the second question. Uh, second question is uh, what uh, has been the what, best what has been the best oh my god so the best work of you remember uh, talking about on rosalena the topics i remember the um, 19 or um, 94 1994 the world, 1994 the work good italy italy in and, and, uh, and made the, the best world could and in the final the best player of the tournament missed the penalty oh my god which uh, which Roberto Bayo is the best play the world could moment Oh my God, I don't remember. I don't know. If, uh, I don't remember. No, no, excuse me. I don't forget. I already imagine the, the games. Walter, excuse and do me? you remember when, when he lost a penalty? Oh my God. That, that's what he said. Yes, it's the loss. Roberto Bayo, oh my God. Yes, el Divino Bayo. El Divino Bayo, oh my God. He's crazy. No lo olvido. How, how, no, no, how old were you? I don't know, remember. I, I don't forget. I can't forget. I can forget. Eh, imagine Roberto Bayo. <laughs> I can't forget. Wow. How old were you? How, how old? old were you? Yeah, how old were you, Walter, when, when you watched the World Cup from 1994? Oh, my God. In, uh, 15 years. 15? Yeah, that was 24 years ago. 15? 30 years, Walter. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, my friend, no. No hair, uh, no, no hair. 14 years old. You were 14 yes. years old. Wow. Okay, let's see. I love in the soccer. I love soccer. That's it. I love soccer. I love soccer. It is a moment, but we can enjoy being. being. Being pronunciation, being no being Bean. being able to see the best soccer. Hey, that was a good thought. Good thought. Okay, being able to see the best soccer in the world. I hope they could stay in America. Another good thought. Good job. I hope they could stay in America. You know, the World Cup could stay in America. The World Cup. Cut. Cut. Mm -mm. Cup. Cut. Cup. Cut. Mm -hmm. Like police, the cop. Okay. Cop, cop, C O P, P. The P has the sound. So the World Cup, Italy. Mm. Italy's World Cup. Italy's World Cup. Uh, Italy's World, World Cup. Very good. I remember on the last game, the player missed the last penalty. That's the way you say it. I remember on the last game, the player missed the last missed penalty. The last penalty. Missed. Bien, un área de oportunidad que estoy notando mucho en varios de ustedes es que se les olvide el sujeto. Es decir, uh, for example, someone was saying, um, don't like it, don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Um, in this example with Walter, how well, was Walter saying, uh, Italy, 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 he said something there. Okay, the World Cup Italy, okay. 
the World Cup of Italy. Could be of Italy. Pero como son aprendido, también puedo ocupar el nombre posesivo y poner el apóstrofe S. Entonces, poner a Italia como el sujeto de numeración. Italy's World Cup. And you're okay. saying the same thing, okay? My brother's brother is me, for example. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Don't forget to continue um, reviewing the grammar, no matter what level you are on. You should remember this part, okay? Keep checking the grammar. So tonight we have to study a little bit on page 30, 31, page 31 of your workbook. Let me see. We will continue talking about CSR, corporate social responsibility, but from a grammar perspective, Oh, but there was something else. Hold on. Yeah, we have to discuss first. Brainstorm about social values in general. Talk about each one mentioned. So social values. What do you understand by social values? Social values. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, are social values the same values that I am taught at home or are they different? Adrianita, good evening. How are you today, Adriana? Hello, teacher. Fine. <laughs> good to hear. I think. I think uh, value social. Social right? values? A social value is similar or maybe same values in home. In that, home. that I am taught at home. That I am taught at home. Okay. Simple. Somebody else? What do you think? Are social values the same values that I am taught at home? Taught at Store at home. Pamela, are you there? I think I think teacher that are the same because when when we are talk a social value, I I think that are values that we practice at work, at church, because we show to the other people friendship, uh, honestly, respect, I think. They're the same. Mm, yes, mm. for me, yes. <laughs> Okay, I, I respect that. So we have three people already saying that they are the same values. Wendy, what do you think? Are social values the same as family values, let's say? Maybe it, the, the base is, is similar, but I, I think that uh, the social value is the similar to attitude in the world or or for example you be the transparent you have a ethic uh, and um, i remember that when i course the psychology social psychology psychology so psychology social teacher yeah social psychology social psychology I remember that my 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 teacher say me that we have seven values, social values. I don't know if it is the same or, or is the this is topic, but I remember that one by one social value is that you you be transparent in your work, you have a ethic, and you verify the result. I remember, I don't know, it's the same topic, 
but it is I think that this is a social value. Good job. Okay, when I haven't had the chance to evaluate your speaking, hold on. Okay, so let's see. Um, I, well, I was telling you, I'm taught at home. I'm taught at home. The values that I'm taught at home, that I was taught at, that I was taught at home, that I was taught at home. Look at that, taught at, taught at, taught at home. Okay, you have a ethic. You have a ethic behavior. You have a ethic behavior, maybe. You need to have ethics. You have ethics. My teacher said me, my teacher told me. Ah, told me, yes, teacher. Super rápido, todos, 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 acuérdense. Say es en general, told es directamente a alguien o a ti, okay? She told me, I told her, I told you, I told you, okay? I said so, I said that, in general, I said that, I always say, Okay, my teacher used to say, in general, not to a specific person. Okay, uh, you be transparent. You have to be transparent. You have to, to, have, to have be. To be. To be. You have to, to be, be transparent. Uh, okay. You can use a different model. You must be transparent. You must be transparent at all times. Okay. Maybe he was trying to tell you that you had to you need to have integrity. You need, you need to be an, a, an integral person, have integrity. Because being transparent, honestly, from my experience, being transparent. Uh, what? In, in, integrity. Yeah, it's integrity. Because if you're transparent mm -hmm. with it's everybody. is the correct form to say. I think, what do you think, guys? Is that is better to be, to say that you are transparent or that you have integrity? Integrity. Yeah, right. Maybe. Yeah, because if you're transparent, I mean, everybody will take advantage of you. My grandpa used to say that uh, they're going to eat you. They're going to eat you out there. They're going to eat you out there in the world if you are transparent if you have your heart on your hand who are you that's what my aunt my uncle used to tell me okay i don't know is the same topic i don't know if i don't know if this is the same topic repeat wendy i don't know if this is the same topic i don't know this is if 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 same topic Again, I don't know. I don't know. If. I, ah, if I, I say this. Uh -huh. I don't know if the. If, if this is. If, if this is. The same topic. The same topic. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is the same topic. I don't know if this is the same thing. Okay, good. Let's do the attendance really quick so we can move on. Ah, Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. She's not here tonight. She wasn't here on Friday, right? I think Ana Selmi joined late. Yeah, she joined late. Okay, Edwin Alexander. Ayala Eraso. Present. Okay. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Excellent. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. 
Susie. She's there. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. He's there. Ok, quiero aclarar una cosa así rapidito. Eh, bueno, que es un poco tarde para hacerlo, pero bueno, creía yo que esto estaba como, ¿cómo se dice? Entre líneas, o estaba de más mencionarlo, pero si usted se pone el nombre de oyente antes, eh, se le dice que se ponga el nombre de oyente antes, de hecho, quizás no lo recuerden de la primera conferencia que se les dio sobre cómo funciona el programa y todo, pero la figura de oyente se creó en el caso de alumnos que llegaron tarde a la inscripción. Y entonces se les inscribe sin esperar un, un certificado de INSAFORP directamente, sino que la academia se los da. Y esto lo dejo en claro en el video, que igual pues es importante que ustedes estén al tanto en el futuro también. Entonces, si ustedes saben de quiere decir que no llegó a tiempo a su inscripción y se le va a entregar un certificado de la academia, no de INSAFORP. ¿Cuál es la ventaja de esto? Bueno, que puede avanzar en los módulos, en el siguiente módulo inscribirse a tiempo y seguir como que ya pasó este módulo. Es lo mismo, pues. Recuerden que al final lo, la, lo que importa de, esta, de este curso es terminarlo. Al terminarlo, poder obtener ese certificado que dice que ya cursaron del 1 al 18 y se grabaron. Ahora, eh, ¿por qué menciono esto? Oyente no es textualmente la palabra que me voy a conectar y solo estoy oyendo. <risa> Ok, just para no ser literal, vea, porque ya me ha pasado, tenía un alumno que todos los módulos, lo tuve como cinco módulos y jamás lo conocí. Nunca le vi la cara, porque siempre me escribía al principio del módulo, fíjese que yo ando manejando, pero ahí lo ando oyendo. Y yo, ok. What could you do? ¿Qué podíamos hacer? Una vez, de hecho, creo que se le activó la cámara y me dio bien entre las sombras, que de verdad el hombre andaba manejando un camión. <ríe> Como que, oh my God. Y siempre le decía, be careful, please. You're going to crash. Ok, so, moving on. Let's see. Um, social values. What's the difference between social values and family values? They're very similar because in the end, If you were taught good values at home, then you will behave on the street. You will not kill other people. If you remember the movie, Psycho, I have to watch that movie again, Psycho. I mean, if you are taught when you're a kid that it's okay to hit people, that you will do it once you go to the real world. Makes sense, right? If you are taught to open the door for the ladies, you will open the door for the ladies and so on. So they're very similar, but there are some things that parents try to teach kids and it's not the same. You have to be taught in the real world. For example, Gloria, what is a, a value that you learned on the street, something that you learned from the real world when you, when your parents said, okay, go, go, swim. <laughs> think, think. Hmm. I don't know. You know, <laughs> when, think about a situation, when you go on the bus. Yes, yes. What do you have uh, to do? Be <laughs> respect for a woman. Respect for another for for pregnant woman. Let's say in your case, from a woman to another woman will be elderly women, right? G give your seat. Mm -hmm. Give you sit to their women and respect pregnant, pregnant women. I mean, detection, mm -hmm. respect. respect, exactly. Okay, what else, guys? What else did you learn from the streets, from the real world? 
Gabby, you're so quiet tonight. Nelson, where? Carla. Mm, maybe be uh, patient. Patient. Uh, patient and on the traffic, for example. <laughs> I agree, totally. That is something that you learn on the street. Exactly. What about not doing this? Mire. Teacher also is important in tolerance because avoid problems. Problems. To avoid problems, you have to be tolerant. Okay, I agree with that too. What about helping others to cross the street? Right, social, social values. Kenya, what do you think? In my personal opinion, I would say that when we are in a real world, you know, um, just like looking for a job, things like that, um, we we are learning like how to face up, you know, the problems in in this social environment. And at the same time, um, doing this with, with respect to others and, you know, trying to, to bring a solution on what will we do, what we'll do, right? <laughs> so, Excellent. Yeah. You know, one of the most difficult things that you have to learn through life, through experience, is to trust nobody. Trust nobody other than your family that no matter how many times your parents told you be careful with other people don't talk to strangers you know you always end up trusting other people a friend at work this is very common a friend at work on your first job right hey can you lend me ten dollars i'll pay you i'll pay you ten dollars later okay I go like i have nothing to eat man help me okay never came back for example All right okay and those kind of things right so we are supposed to ask you in this sense uh is it important to have good values if you are helping um corporate social responsibility programs if you're assisting in one of these programs, now that you know what it is, how to help your corporation, your company with these social responsibility programs, is it is it important to have values if you're if you are um oh my god a volunteer if you're a volunteer? Somebody tell me why. Tell me why. Oh come on. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Okay, why is it important to have values when you are a volunteer in these programs? Okay, let's remember. Let's say that we have a corporate social responsibility program where you are releasing releasing totals you're releasing totals in san diego at the beach you're just releasing totals that's your company's csr program do you need to have values to release totals uh, at the beach yes why because you are not, you are not going to release the totals if you are eating the eggs <laughs> or you have you have to be conscious mm -hmm. yeah or stealing the eggs yeah you or have still, to... no stealing the totals yeah oh yeah the total yes i mean you go like oh my god the total. i like this <laughs> i need a pet <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes <clears throat> what else you have to be conscious you gotta be conscious totally you gotta you gotta be conscious what else Adita, gabriela wendy walter sandra and Anson, carla your camera is off wilfredo susana and pamela come on guys 
What other program the can other, you think? The other values teacher may be tolerance. Mm -hmm. Okay, when do you have to show tolerance if you are a, a volunteer in a program? Sorry, teacher, please repeat me. Okay, repeat to me, uh, repeat to me. When do you have to show tolerance if you are a volunteer in a program, in a social responsibility program? Think about it. Teacher, uh -huh. in this way, when you as a volunteer, it's very important to be a trustworthy person because this kind of, of activities mm -hmm. is it's important that you give truth to other person because in this kind of activity always you need to support another another thing another person for you in for you recollect to the hell for another for another person. Exactly. Let me give you an example. I was at the university. We went to Komasawa. Remember, I told you during this season. During this season in on October, on October, November, two thousand eleven, two thousand eleven. Yeah, we went to Komasawa. We we took a, a lot of um, grains. Let's say rice, beans, sugar, milk. We took, I remember my favorite thing that we took was um, jelly, jelly for the kids and some toys. So Ada said, Ada, Ada said right now, tolerance. When we got there, the place was crowded. There were a lot of people from, from the country, from the country, you know, very, humble people what is humble what is humble humility exactly very humble people doing a line they were doing a long queue you know a long line waiting for us students of the university to give them rice beans sugar the toys and and there was a lady who went she got her things okay she got her things and i saw her she went back to the line and she started walking when she got to me i was tolerant i told her hey we already gave you um you know your things and she was like it's just that i have four kids i have four kids you know i'm a single mother and I'm like, okay, you have four kids. Let me give you three more toys, okay? I'm going to give you three more toys. Good? Okay, it's okay. I gave her the toys. And guess what happened? I walked away. I walked away. And she went back to the line. I was like, mm -mm. So I told, I told my coworkers, right, my classmates, hey, Guys, let's pause. Let's pause this for a little because it was dangerous. Some people there had machetes, you know, machetes, machetes. Some people had machetes there and they saw her. Hey, stop doing that. And I don't know, right? It's dangerous. So, but that was funny. Now that I think about it, it was like, man, I wish I had the money to help her. But still, Still, there is where you show tolerance because can you help these people if you give them money? Do you think they will change their life? No, right? That's another value. Somebody said respect. I think that's what Ada tried to say, right? With tolerance on this group, on these programs, it's difficult. Okay. Any thoughts about it? No? Okay. 
So I was saying page 31, let's see. Page 31 of your workbook. We have a topic to discuss. Uh, it's kind of a grammar topic, but it's not grammar. It's just, oh my God, who, who is it? Ada, who, who is it? In my cat. <laughs> yeah, what's his name or her name? Um, ukelele. <laughs> ukelele, what? ¿Cómo se dice? De cariño, tisho. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's uke. Uke, uke. Oh, okay. We we call her uke. And, okay. and he's, under, he's understand teacher. Él entiende. He, he understands English? Yeah. And, <laughs> no. I... I call uh -huh. and, and he he comes. Come back. He comes. Okay, I call him and he comes. I call him and he comes. Yeah. yeah, that that that's the way my cat is. He sits on the table with us. Our cat sits on his seat every time we eat, and he doesn't go like meow meow meow. No, he goes like meow, and he touches the yeah. table meow. It's very funny. Okay. I love you too. Okay. So how to write effective topic sentences. This is not like grammar. It's just how to write. Okay. So we have to think about it one by one. Let's look at the examples and then you will have to complete some exercises. So. The topic sentence tells the reader, I'm not gonna read this. Uh, let me see, Carlita, will you? The topic sentence. <laughs> How to write effective topic sentence. Oh, the topic sentence tell the reader that the paragraph is about its main idea. Okay, what the paragraph is about, its main idea. That's what the topic sentence tells the reader. And this is a very common topic. So continue, Carlita. Writing effective topic sentence requires more than starting the subject of the paragraph. A good topic sentence is specific and well-focused. It gives the entry paragraph to write and I, an effective ah thank you an effective topic sentence take the following guidelines into consideration good job okay repeat requires 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 errors errors requires there you go stating Stating. 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 There you go. Stating. 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 ¿Se acuerdan de lo que les dije en la última clase? Y aquí es un ejemplo. Si tengo dos consonantes después de la vocal, ok, la vocal pierde su sonido natural. ¿Cuál es el sonido natural de la A en inglés? A. Sí. Right? A. Entonces acá no lo pierde porque no hay dos consonantes después. En, Número uno, número dos. Tengo una T entre dos vocales, suena a R. Stating. Ok. Stating. Next. Guides. 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 It guides the entire paragraph to write on. Ahora, una con, un consejo de nuevo. Los artículos A y AN, traten de unirlos con la siguiente palabra si es posible, si la siguiente palabra empieza con una vocal. So, an effective, an, an, an effective topic sentence. Take the following guidelines into consideration. Good job. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. A specific and well-focused, okay? Make sure the topic sentence states an opinion and not a fact. There's a difference between your personal opinion and a fact that you have studied. Es diferente dar mi opinión personal 
a haber estudiado el tema y dar un hecho concreto. As clear as that. So, fact, hecho, fact, hecho. Opinion, your personal opinion. Rosalena, would you? This uh, may show. Oh, here. Ah, here. Fact. Corporation, corporate, corporate social responsibility means that organizations have moral and ethical responsibilities. Opinion. Organizations should adopt corporate social responsibilities in order to improve local communities. Good job. Okay, no errors. Now, look at the difference. Okay, corporate social responsibility means. This is what it means. I studied, I did a research about corporate social responsibility. So I give a statement. I gave a statement that is true, is a fact. My personal opinion should. It's very clear, right? Should, they should do this. They should do that. When do we use should? An obligation? Mm -hmm. No, uh, an advice? Advice or? Yeah. Re? Like, recommendation. Should. Advice, recommendation. Yeah. Explicit, it's very explicit in that terms. You know, if, if should is just to give advice, that's the main use. Thank you. Number two, state state an opinion rather than just announce the topic. State an opinion rather than just announce the topic. Let's look at the announcement, um, Kenya. Okay. Uh, announcement, CSR requires organizations to adopt uh, a broader view of its, its responsibilities. Opinion. CSR requires organizations to adopt a broader view of its responsibilities, keeping in mind uh, the broad range of activities to give something back to the public. Good job. Okay. Now, instead of public, try to say pu pu public. Got it. <laughs> you got it? Got it. Okay. Public to the public. To the public to public okay so see the difference we have the same sentence above it's just an announcement but if i add a little thought at the end it sounds better is that clear esto es como decir el como sugerir el como y por eso está con ing keep it in mind Rosalina. Okay. <laughs> it's like You're, it's like uh -huh. tenerlo en mente. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no no, I'm saying this is that estás agregando más información como una sugerencia. En mi opinión personal deberían de seguimos con la misma idea anterior. Right? Just no solo digas eh el como anunciar de qué trata la lectura, sino dar una pequeña opinión también. Okay, state your opinion. Last one, avoid vague words and sentences that do not express an opinion. Avoid vague words. Am, am I reading that right? Vague or vague? Hmm. Vague words and sentences that do not express an opinion. Let's see, a vague sentence. Hold on, let, let's correct this together. I wanna make sure I'm saying it right, vague. Unprecise. Vague. Sounds, vague. sounds like vague. 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 Uh -huh. vague. vague. Okay, so vague options. Okay. Uh, vague words. Vague sentence. Okay, a vague sentence. Carlita. No, it's Carlita Red Red. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I want to choose somebody else who hasn't spoken tonight. Everybody has spoken. That's good. Nelson, are you there?
we lost some Houston. <laughs> okay, Nelson, can you help us reading this vague sentence? Yeah. Various sentences. There are about many different ways for organization to to be social responsible. Okay. It does not state an opinion. Organization takes an part in the social responsibility project. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. So big sentence. There are about many different ways for organizations to be socially responsible. Socially responsible. What am I saying there? It's not a specific, right? There are different ways. What ways? What are the ways? Okay. Or it does not state an opinion. Organizations take no part in social responsibility projects. Is this an opinion? No, right? It's just does not express an opinion. It's just a statement, a negative statement, by the way. Organizations take no part in social responsibility projects. It may be true, but it sounds too rude to speak like that. So let's go to exercise nine. We need to read the following sentences on page 31 on your notebook, page 31, I'm sorry, in your workbook, and identify the reason why they are effective or not. Suggest an improved version for the ones that are not effective. And then you compare your suggestions with a classmate on small groups. So for example, ethical responsibilities concern societal expectations. Ethical responsibilities concern societal expectations. What do you think about that? There's an S missing here on concern. It should be on third person. Ethical responsibility concerns societal expectations. Okay, so what's our main goal, guys? Effective communication. Effective communication. You can say a sentence, um, and it could be your simple opinion, or it could be based on a research. Y de nuevo, lo que estoy haciendo es tratando de comunicar algo directamente, algo efectivamente, perdón, tratando de comunicar algo efectivamente. Y eso solo lo voy a lograr de dos maneras. O es algo que he investigado y tiene mucho sentido al ser expresado. O puede ser algo que es mi opinión personal. Sin embargo, puede sonar muy convincente dependiendo de cómo uno diga. So, el primer ejemplo. Ethical responsibilities concern societal expectations. Y lo voy a leer en español porque no le da yo lógica en inglés. La verdad, la responsabilidad ética preocupa las expectativas de la sociedad. La responsabilidad ética preocupa las expectativas de la sociedad. Hmm. ¿Es esto algo que investigué o es mi opinión personal? Es algo que investigó. Sounds like a topic. Sounds like a topic, right? Mm -hmm. Algo que investigué, dicen, sí. ¿Por qué, Wendy? ¿Por qué suena como algo que investigué? Because you only read the, the or it's textual, maybe. It's textual, right? Mm -hmm. Sí, sí. ¿Quién, ¿Quién habla así? Who talks like that, right? It's like written from a book. Exactly. 
And as, as Rosalina said, it sounds like a topic of a book or something. Exactly. So that's what you're going to do right now. In small groups, we have a few minutes to do this. Determine if this is or not an effective sentence. If it is not, you need to rewrite the sentence down below on the dotted lines, okay? Questions? Concerns? Questions? No? Okay. So we are 13 right now. Let me recreate the groups. Okay, Gloria, Edwin, and Kenya will be on the same group. Okay, let's go. Susana, if you can hear me, se me escucha Susana, por favor, en el grupito. Walter. Hello. 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 Chicas, me voy a levantar solo un minuto, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Sharing, sharing uh, presentation. It's a, a topic. En el WhatsApp la compartió el teacher. Okay, okay. The number one ethical responsibilities concerns such as expression, expectation, and two organizations are expected to do more than just complete with the land, but also a maple activities effort to ethical and Where are you?
les veo muy pensativos. Teacher, no sé si yo entendí este mal o okay. qué, pero sería de para mí ver es, es, estas oraciones las tengo que comparar con las con lo que dice arriba y, co, y tengo que ver en qué en qué en, en dónde cabe esa oración. Uh, no, oh. hay que identificar si lo que uh -huh. estoy leyendo en esa oración es algo que me gustaría leer. Uno, es eh, decir, como suena como muy rebuscado, es mi opinión personal o es algo que me he, he hecho una investigación para sacar ese, esa oración. Uh -huh. eh, si suena muy escueto, muy, muy, muy escueto es la palabra, bueno, eh, es mi opinión, ¿no? Pero si suena uh -huh. muy rebuscado, entonces es una investigación. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cómo? El ejercicio se trata de, si a mí no me parece algo, es decir, si no me parece la oración, lo reescribo, ¿cómo lo podría decir uh -huh. que, suene, que suene como como más atractivo para el lector, digamos. Ok. Ah, pues sí. That's right. the point. Gracias. Ok. Here people employ employment. ¿Qué es RSA? No sé qué significa. Participan en actividades R. Pamela disappeared, teacher. <laughs> really? Yeah. And I send and I I send Gabriela here. Hold on. Yeah, I'll send you to another group. Don't worry. Okay. Yes. All right. It was. Um, <laughs> Customer service and relation. No. Okay. Corporation, <laughs> corporation social responsibility. Ah, okay. Uh, social responsibility. Corporate corporate social responsibility. responsibility. Oh, okay. oh my God, Selena. Wow. <laughs> okay. Thank you. No, entonces eso está bien. Number four. Number four. Como les show for images when they don't use his activities. It is true, but would you like to read something like that? Companies suffer image, image issues when they don't participate in CSR activities. Companies suffer image issues.
teacher. When we have, for example, on the uh, number four, companies suffer image issues with when they don't participate in CSR activities. Um, do we need to add like more on this sentence or can we say something like when companies don't participate in CSR activities, they are suffering image issues? Exactly. You're giving your personal opinion if you say when. Mm, okay. Okay. So that's my point. Look at the first paragraph, the first line on, on where it says number nine on the instructions. Read the following topic sentences and identify the reason why they are effective or not. So based on the previous uh, excerpt, you know, where it says how to write effective topic sentences, is that an effective sentence, an effective, an effective topic sentence? Companies suffer image issues when they don't participate in CSR activities. So in my opinion, yes, it's an effective topic sentence, although it's not something that I would like to read, maybe, right? It sounds like a research, something that somebody researched. So imagine the title, company software image issues when they don't participate in corporate social responsibilities activities. If I know about the topic, then I will say, yeah, of course, if you don't participate, you get issues as we started before, remember? Yes, okay. <laughs> Makes sense. Si tiene sentido, ¿no? O sea, desde la perspectiva del lector, ¿será efectiva esa manera de comunicación? Porque suena algo no escueto, suena algo muy uh, bien estudiado, algo que se hizo, un estudio se investigó para, para determinar que las compañías sufren un... Uh, problemas de imagen cuando no participan en programas de desarrollo social eh, de responsabilidad social perdón suena a eso ¿no? aquí se hizo una investigación en cambio como dice Kenia si yo digo cuando las compañías no participan en programas de responsabilidad social se, su imagen se ve afectada ahí ya suena más a mi opinión con solo agregar la palabra cuando right? es ese ejemplo entonces si fuese mi opinión, puede que se vea como algo muy escueto y ya. But what means when mentioned suggest an improved version for the ones that are not effective? Which one? Oh, one, two, the three. The instruction. No, the instruction. The instruction, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Suggest okay. an improved version for the ones oh, yeah, that are yeah. not effective. For example, exactly. What, if does, you it think mean, what does it mean with that? That is not effective. Not, uh -huh, that are not effective. Well, if it is vague, if it is a vague sentence, if the sentence suggests a way to resolve something, but it doesn't give the solution, Just like in the example, si, si la oración sugiere maneras para solucionar un problema, pero no menciona cuáles son esas maneras, entonces es una idea vaga. Ajá, entonces tendría que reescribir la oración. En el ejemplo 4, es una opinión de una investigación probablemente. Una aseveración de una investigación. Estoy claro que eso es así porque ya se investigó. Yeah. No es una sugerencia. Um, una sugerencia en este ejemplo sería ways for companies to avoid suffer image issues when they don't participate on, yeah, on corporate social responsibility. Ahí estoy diciendo cuáles son las maneras, pero no estoy listan, enlistándolas. Right? A eso se refiere, Rosalina. Okay. So, ¿cómo lo reescribiría? Y ese es el punto. So, just an improved version for the ones that are not effective. So, let's say it's mm -hmm. not effective. Okay. Uh, the best ways to resolve uh, the way, the best ways to avoid 
companies suffering image issues when they don't participate on CSR activities on 2022. And I start listing. So that's more attractive, right? An idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. One primary focus of corporate. Yeah, it, it's, it looks like difficult, but eh, it's just a way of speaking. The way you say things, Maybe attractive or not for the reader, that's all. Okay, one primary focus of, oh, wait, social envir and environmental issues. Uh -huh. For international companies. Is that an opinion? It's, it's like an opinion. It is. It's, so, it, uh -huh, it's an opinion. Because you're using so you're, you're using should. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. So how can you make that sentence better, more effective? Social and environmental issues should be the priority for international mm -hmm. companies mm -hmm. by investing more funds on corporate social responsibility programs. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. That's an idea. And you're being very clear. You're giving a solution to the statement. Okay. Sounds difficult, but <laughs> it sounds difficult. It's just about thinking. Yeah. With thinking about ways of saying things in different ways. Okay. I'm gonna go back. We're almost done. Ok, bien, hemos casi que concluido la clase. Me, vi que varios estaban bastante pensativos con ese tema. Eh, es algo complejo tener que repensar, ya de por sí, a ver, es complejo tener que repensar maneras de decir las cosas de diferentes formas, que siempre se los he sugerido desde el día uno. Y aquí la importancia, ahora, el tema de por sí es difícil. Sí, responsabilidad, responsabilidad corporativa, responsabilidad social corporativa, responsabilidad social corporativa. Ya vimos de qué tratan los programas, qué es lo que se puede hacer, hemos dado nuestras sugerencias. Eh, ahora, ya de por sí decía, crear una oración y decir, mi mamá me mima, decirlo de otra manera, incluso en español, resulta un problema. En inglés no se diga, estamos aprendiendo, y el tema, pues, es bastante avanzado en términos eh, de gerencia, digámoslo, vaya, de, de, de temas de, de um, empresariales. Sí, algunos, muchos, puede que no estén familiarizados, somos pocos los que estamos familiarizados con el tema, eh, desde una perspectiva empresarial. Entonces, ánimo, no se achicopalen, sí los vi muy pensativos, ante todo porque puede haber alguna que otra palabra muy rebuscada ahí, ¿no? Y es difícil comprenderla. Sin embargo, ese era el tema de, de eso. No es gramática, les decía, sino poder entender. Y esto a lo better, vimos. A better, a better, or an, an, another way to think. No. No. no an, es el punto another, es, way to, another way to express. To express yourself, para hacer que el lector 
se sienta ya más, ya más um, atraídos. Esto lo vimos en sexto, séptimo grado. Cómo hacer los enunciados para que el que lea el tema principal diga, hey, eso está interesante. ¿Ya? Sí, uh, y te decían, more attractive to the reader. To the reader, that's all. Ah, okay. Exacto, so, revisan un poco. Mañana si tienen alguna pregunta me dicen y lo revisamos. Ok. And tonight... I haven't been with me for some time. Susana got disconnected already. It's 10 o'clock. Okay, let's do the attendance. Um, tonight, I'm, I'll try to stay with Wendy if possible. Wendy, are you there? Teacher, sorry, but uh, I yeah, the baby. The, and the baby. Sorry, I know, teacher. I know, don't worry. Okay, uh, Rosalena, would you mind 10 minutes again? We're almost done. Yes, teacher. Sure, okay. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present, teacher. Thank Good you. Night. Good night. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. She was here. Ana Selmi Chévez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good night. Good night. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Thank you. Good night. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Rami Mendes Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, good night. night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, teacher. Good night. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Thank you. See you all tomorrow, guys. Don't miss your see class. See you tomorrow. Bye, see you tomorrow. Good, good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Difficult topics. <laughs> yes, imagine, I think that the people that write books, they need to know a lot of this, I think. No, no. This program was created on 2014, June, June 2014. Yeah. Um, they say that when they uh, did the bead, you know, to, to start, uh, getting a provider to create the books. Um, they did it, right? And they started building the books and everything. But when they reached the intermediate levels, they were like, oh, my God, what do we teach next? I mean, these are so complex grammar topics. Yes. But but they, they if you notice, they thought about employees on basic levels yeah. um supervisors on intermediate levels mm -hmm. and management on advanced levels so mm -hmm. the topics the topics had to be related to that yeah. that's why that's why on the advanced books the advanced levels you will only find links just links for videos for uh, excerpts and so many things so in 2018, they renewed the books. They changed the format of the books. And they still did that. It's like they run out of time. So let's add a whole bunch of links. And they didn't think that many links will not be available up till now. So uh, it is what it is. And if you are, if you're a creative teacher, you know how to work on these topics not all of the teachers have the ability to do that yeah i have to tell you i have to admit it thank god i started administration a little bit but man sometimes it's difficult to find yeah. these topics on the internet and try to study prepare the class it's not easy it's not easy difficult topics maybe reading slowly and trying to understand what it's about. 
what it is about. Yeah, because the expectation, if you notice today's topic, whoever, whoever did this book thought about the, the, um, the students being ready for this type of topic. Yes. And no. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you were, if everybody was able to talk like you, for example, you know, express your ideas and everything. Even so, there are too many complex words, too yes. many complex topics. But it is what it is. You have to yeah, try it. In, that is the in in that way. You you are going. We are going to learn more. Yeah, that's the only yeah. way. Yes, it's it's the only way. <laughs> mm -hmm. You never know. She's Imagine all the time. All the time. Yeah, all the time, all the time we're thinking only speaking the basic, the basic things. No, we need to talk. And you know that that's a little sad that some classmates of yours are still struggling with building sentences on simple present. Yes, I only mean, with the same verbs. Yes, the same verbs. Right, mm -hmm. it's because subject. <laughs> yeah, when you don't practice, you forget things. That's all. Mm -hmm. Have you decorated your house already? Not yet. Not yet. No. Just the, the no, little Santa yet. behind you. Mm, yes. Oh, this is <laughs> since like since last last year. <laughs> there, it's been there since last year. Last year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. No, we we start to decorate until the. The last week of November. Really? My my nephew, my nephew birthday is 29, November 29. And mm. in this day we we take the 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 tree, the Christmas tree, unpackage. We are coming to unpackage the Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, you unpack yeah. the Christmas tree and you start yeah. decorating. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah, we, we started you? today. At the office, we are ready decorate. Decorated, really? Yeah, yeah. At the office, mm -hmm. I, I like it. Yeah, I always say every year, you know, I, I go like, yeah, on, at the beginning of November, at the beginning of November, and it's always the same at the end of November. <laughs> when I when I see my neighbors, you know, decorating their houses and everything, I go like, oh my god, <laughs> I have to do that. I start pushing myself and I like doing it because kids have fun with it, you know, and we play Christmas songs <laughs> in English. Yes. I start to watch a series uh, or also movies about Christmas in Netflix. Yeah. In Netflix. <laughs> that's what they that that's what my baby said, my, my little girl. Daddy, can we watch a movie about Christmas? And I'm like, Yeah, sure. Once I'm <laughs> done with the classes, uh they they will go to bed late, you know, drink chocolate mm -hmm. with marshmallows. Yes, it's a, it's a tradition. Yeah. It's a tradition. It's really good, actually. Yes, I start to, to watch uh, some series or some movies about Christmas. I like it. I'm starting, no, I start, I'm starting watching, you can say that, yeah. Oh, that's a way to use ING on both verbs. I'm starting watching something, but you can only do that with start, begin. I'm beginning watching new series. I'm starting to watch. Hmm. Yeah. I'm starting watching. Okay. It's, or it's or a... I started watching. I started. Ah, I started. Em empecé a ver. Okay. I started watching because it sounds uh, like doing a big effort to join two verbs with an infinitive. Think about it. I start to watch. Yo empiezo a ver. No, I started uh, watching. Empecé a ver. Mm -hmm. no, okay. I, I like I like the the movies or series in in the original language. In that case, in English, because. In this way, you learn. You you also listen many mm -hmm. phrasal verbs that they mention in in a moment 
you you are going to remember yeah and in the end your brain is recording even if you don't notice <laughs> so <laughs> you're good okay thank you for yeah. staying with me again i'm sorry to do this to you but no, i like I talking like. to you <laughs> yes, i like you too <laughs> okay rosalina enjoy the okay. night have okay, some rest good night, good night. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you Bye. tomorrow.